is up you guys your girl is still in bed it's about 5 20 a.m but i was thinking that we should spend the day together today here and there just pop in and let you know what i'm doing um it's 5 20 a.m and i've been up for around 20 minutes uh i've already read my emails answered some emails answered some comments and now it is time to change get downstairs in my little home gym in the basement and we're gonna work out um, probably going to make a smoothie later on. I do have to drive my girls to school. So I'll pop in and out here and there, but I thought it'd be fun if we spent the day together. And then later on, uh, I will be filming. So I thought we can get ready together for that. So a little, what is it called? GRWM, get ready with me. And so we will do that. All right, let's get this day started. I have a lot to do. All right, guys, we are in the basement. I am gonna get set up. That's our messy little gym area and my sneakers, by the way. I absolutely love my sneakers. I have torn through so many pairs of sneakers. These are actually a little old now. You can see they're getting dirty, but they are the Nike XC, I believe. And um, I can link them below. If you guys have any issues with like, I hate to say it, <laughs> bunions, or wide feet, or you need better support. These sneakers have been absolutely fantastic. I've gone through very expensive sneakers as well, um, and these have been the best, and they were not expensive. They were under $100. All right, let me get going here. All right, you guys, I am gonna blame this messy uh, little gym area on my husband because he was the last one down here, but really, you know, it's all of us. We're all down here. We use this space. Um, you know, this little section is like our gym, and then behind the camera is a big screen TV, a couch. You guys are actually resting on a table. And we sometimes, well, actually during COVID, you guys, this was like day night because there was no escaping <laughs> each other, I guess. You, you guys know, we've all been through it. And so we would uh, order still our Thai food. Friday nights are Thai nights regardless and we would have it down here glass of wine and I'm gonna show you the table and how we sit down here I know don't judge me by the way you guys these are uh, Avia pants and they are like they're like core workout gear that is usually stocked all the time nice and comfy they have side pockets they're high-waisted they're not super compression so if you guys don't like a lot of that. I know that can be uncomfortable. You guys will love these. And then this is that little um, tank that I showed you last Wednesday, Walmart Wednesday. All right, I'll turn the camera around and show you some stuff. All right, you guys, this is just a little view of what the other side of the basement looks. We paint, spray painted the ceiling black. We didn't, we had it done. And we have just a little couch. And then over here where I have my tripod there, my water bottle is our little table uh, that we can sit at and eat and then we are able to see the TV. And that's pretty much it. Little cove over here if you wanna sit over there. That cabinet is loaded with toys. Uh, we kept some toys in this little table from my daughters for when we have little guests. There's a little ring light that is not mine, that is Tali's because you know Tali, she is a budding influencer. And go Bills. All right, guys, you see me here on the treadmill. I did a 45 minute workout. Usually have the treadmill set at 4.3 for speed and usually around three for an incline. And I, well, I'm watching TV, that's why I'm looking straight ahead. And the workout goes by pretty quickly. That's all I had time for this morning. All right, you guys, you just saw my uh, workout. I did roughly around 44 minutes and I completed three miles. I do have it on a high incline, so that's why I didn't do like super fast miles, but it's pretty good. I've, I've got a sweat and I definitely feel awesome. Drank through this entire thing. This is actually my second one, so all these goals are already accomplished. And let's see, what have I done? I've answered my emails. I have answered some comments. I have drank two things of water and done my workout. Now I have to get my day started. I have not even had coffee yet. I'm gonna go upstairs, uh, make sure my daughter is up 
and get the day started for all of us and get them off to school. Uh, but I just want to let you know that I do have, look at these braids are crazy, you guys. My hair is layered, so they're just kind of like sticking out, but that's okay, you guys don't mind. Anyway, um, I do want to let you guys know that I have some goals for myself this year, 2023. One of them being uh, to get up early. I read that if you get up at 5 a.m., you can accomplish so much, and it is really, really true. So I really have been trying to do that. You get all that extra time to get things done. On some days, obviously, that just can't happen, but I am absolutely gonna try that at least a few days a week when I can. All right, you guys, let's go get the rest of the day started. Hey, you guys, before I move on to something else, I came upstairs and the sort of sun is starting to come out here. So I just thought I would show you that it is snowing again, but this is like wet, heavy snow and it's sort of melting when it hits like the pavement and the street. So there is your backyard view for today. I like to show you guys my backyard. It's kind of like, that's my light kitchen lights showing there, but it's kind of like my, you know, view for you guys to see what's going on weather-wise here in Buffalo. Guys, I have to show you one of my awesome birthday gifts. This was from my brother and sister-in-law. It is a little uh, Nespresso machine. And these are Nespresso pods. It's not a Keurig, you're getting espresso. So I'm just gonna show you how they work. Pop that in there. Close this up, whoops. Close that guy up. It's kinda hard to do. <laughs> and then get it started. And today I am enjoying Wegmans Espresso Light Roast. It has caramel notes. It is absolutely divine. Check it out. If you guys like my mug from Sophia from years ago, you can see this is my second cup. Check out my lip gloss marks here. My mom is my BFF. I love this mug. That is yummy. Hey you guys, I have been working all morning, but I just decided to take a quick break and show you what came in last night. I am going to be doing a video featuring Temu, and they sent me all of this stuff. I was able to pick it out. They gave me a credit on their website, but I am super excited to show this to you guys. So that is forthcoming. I can't exactly say when, because you guys know I'm always hustling and busy. So forthcoming in the next few weeks, you're gonna see this awesome website called Temu. So just working over here, and yep, yeah, it's still a snowy day outside. And I think I'm gonna go make a smoothie or smoothie bowl, not sure which one. I'm gonna check out what I have in the kitchen here, and I will bring you guys along. All right, guys, I am just set up over here to make a smoothie bowl. So what I have already in my little blender cup is eight ounces of ice water, some ice, and I pitted two medjool dates. That's what I use for sweetness in my smoothies. And then I am gonna go ahead and hit it with some vanilla rice protein powder. You guys know I love this. I'll make sure to link it below for you guys. Uh, it is vegan, it's uh, gluten-free, not that I'm gluten-free, 60 calories for two tablespoons. And in that two tablespoons, you are going to get 12 grams of fiber, which I think is fantastic. I'll probably put about three tablespoons in there. And I also like to add a little vanilla extract for flavor. I'm going to add some almond butter. It's the crunchy kind, I kind of like that in there as well. And of course, I'm going to add one of these ripe bananas. Now, I normally use frozen bananas. I just don't have any on hand right now. And I also, believe it or not, you guys, add a pinch of salt that really, really adds some flavor. I may also add some cacao powder as well because I do like a chocolate banana sort of peanut buttery flavor. So I am gonna go ahead, put this on time lapse, and you guys can watch me make it, and I will show you what it looks like at the end. All right, guys, I am going to enjoy this yummy chocolate banana sort of nut <laughs> smoothie. It did not turn into a smoothie bowl. It's a little too, uh, it's not thick enough, and that's because I did not use my frozen bananas like I normally do, but it is yummy nonetheless. 
Hi, I am popping in here to show you guys what I do to get ready before I film. I am done with my work from home day. Woo! It is a Friday. I tend to film on Fridays when I'm done working. Usually it takes me a few hours. I still have to get ready and stuff like that. I have white strips on my teeth. They are brand new. They were in my Walmart beauty box. So if I like the results, and that's why I'm talking so funny, I will make sure to let you guys know, but I'll link them in the meantime in case you guys are curious. Also have on my, um, what is it called? Oh, the Ordinary AHA BHA peel. I've shown you guys this in videos past. I still use it once a week, typically before I film. It really does clear my skin. It just kind of turns over all of that dead skin, especially in the winter time. This way I'm talking with these is cracking me up. <laughs> And also using my Dipology Micro Dart under eye patches. They are infused with hyaluronic acid and a few other things. So we'll talk more about them when I can talk, but I figured I'd pop in here and make you guys laugh and I'm gonna go do my nails now. So I will see you later. All right, you guys, I am back. I wiped off the Ordinary Peel. My skin really feels like it's freshened up a bit. That's just kind of how it feels. It gets rid of some of the dead skin and helps everything turn over a bit faster. You know, that's what an acid peel is known to do. I do it again, just once a week. My teeth look whiter already. I used the whitening strips once. Here they are. And they were the no pain ones because way back in the early 2000s, I think we all did the Crest white strips. And once you do a full round of those, you can't do them again because you get shooting nerve pain in your gums. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. So these are great. I am going to put a picture up of them up on the screen because I don't have them in front of me to let me, to tell me what um, the name of them is. You guys see my clothes rack in the back of me? So interesante, I am sure. Muy, muy interesante. I'd love to say that. Anyway, you guys, I took Spanish from fourth grade all the way to sophomore year in college. Anyway, um, I am going to peel off these eye patches, at least one, just to show you how the skin is super flattened out. So let's do this. Oh, I did my nails and I'm gonna jump in the shower after I do this, but I thought we would do this on camera here. So let's see. Look at that, you guys. Now, 51 years old, that is flattened out and plumped up. Hyaluronic acid is, it draws water to the surface of your skin and plumps your skin up. Anytime I'm about to put makeup on, I make sure I put hyaluronic acid, um, something moisturizing with hyaluronic acid in it under my eyes. And that is why that is absolutely amazing. Take the other one off as well. There it is, you guys. Look at how great my under eyes look right now. I have no makeup on. I'm telling you right now, no makeup. I have just some moisturizer that I slapped on, not even sunscreen, I should be out of this window. Good thing it's cloudy as ever. Not that that matters, you should always wear sunscreen. But you guys, look at that. Not bad for my age and <laughs> the state they were in before. I had a little wine last night, I can't even lie. I know, but you know, it's my husband's birthday weekend, so we had to celebrate, start early. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a shower. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how I I think I'm gonna show you how I blow dry my hair and how I, how I curl it. I've shown you how I blow dry it before. I just rough blow dry it, but everyone's asking how I get those beachy or loose waves in my hair. So I'm gonna show you that and we'll talk about some other stuff. I'll be back. All right, you guys, I am finally here. It was a long day. Even getting ready is long, you know how it is. My nails are done. I showed you all of the things that I do when I film. Yes, you guys, it's a lot, I know it is. All right, so what have I done since we last met? Well, obviously I did a full face of makeup. I wasn't gonna make this get ready with me anything about makeup, just because I just recently did a makeup video for you in December, maybe like three weeks ago. So not much has changed since then. You know, I swap out different colors. See how I did my eyeshadow, kind of like a plum brown maybe. Um, I am using, however, a new foundation that I think you guys are gonna love because it's from Walmart and it's like $5. It is called the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus, Photo Focus Foundation. I should probably read that before I come on here, right? And I am wearing it in the color 368C, 
which is a golden beige. And I really love it. What do I like about it? Couple things. Now I have, this is in a matte. It does come in a more radiant or glow finish. I forget what exactly it's called. I'll put it up on the screen. I have a very, very oily T-zone. And even around my nose, I get a little greasy by the end of the day. I don't get that way with this. You guys, before I was constantly sopping up the oil on my, I mean, gross, but truth be told, I don't have to do that with this. I don't mind a little bit. You know, I want to look dewy. I don't want to look bone dry. So this is fantastic. It's full coverage. It's buildable. And what I love about it, as well as the fact that it doesn't uh, show the grease by the end of the day, is it um, feels very natural. I don't feel like I have pounds of makeup on, if that makes any sense. It's as close to my natural skin as we can get with a full face of tons of makeup. <laughs> you knew I was going to say something funny. All right. So why am I here right now? Well, also have my Walmart robe on. Whoops, a little twisted here. Um, actually, I stole it from my daughter. I gave it to her for Christmas, but sometimes we share. It's okay. We can all share because we're all the same size here. All right. So I'm loving my teeth too, you guys. They look really white. Like one time using that whitener and they look super white. So I'm going to keep using it. I'll probably buy it. That was just like a little trial set that I got in my Walmart beauty box. All right. So why I'm here right now is so many of you. I want to say at least in the past two weeks, 12 of you have asked for me to show you how I do my hair. So that's what I'm here to do. By the way, I use a Savani brand rotating curling iron. You guys can see, look how hot, I've got it at 410. Awesome, it goes up to like 450, I believe. Uh, I have, by the way, oh, let me backtrack a bit. I used my favorite. Um, you guys always ask me, how do you get your hair so shiny? I stopped getting it super light highlighted because I have to dye my gray roots and doing that plus highlighting it was killing my hair. I also use my Joyco Defy Damage shampoo and conditioner. There is tons of oil in here. So if you don't have thick, coarse hair like I do, that's color colored. I don't know what I was gonna say there. You may not like it, but if you do have this kind of hair, Get it, you guys, it's a game changer for this kind of hair. Normally my hair can feel like hay. That stuff is fantastic. Also, as a bond protector, I use this Olaplex Number no. 9 serum right before I blow dry. That's it, you guys. And then maybe a little hairspray at the end. All right, but I'm gonna show you how to use this. Now this Savani iron rotates, and I showed it to you one other time in a get ready with me, but I have since realized that it's a dupe for the beach waver. Comment below if you get ads all the time on YouTube for the Beach Waver. I do constantly. It could be just because of my preferences. But the Beach Waver is $99, you guys. This one here is $69. Plus, I have a discount code. It's just Liz. Just L-I-Z. And you get 15% off. So the final cost is like $59.50 or something like that. Compared to... Sorry, I just wolfed an apple down. Little burpee. Sorry, it's gross. But anyway, compared to $99, $59 is almost half off. So it's fantastic. Let's demo it. So I take, I would say like one inch sections and it all depends how much time I have and how much, um, how curly I want my hair. Now you guys like the loose waves you always tell me. So look at this. I press the rotate button and it just curls it for me. I never curl the ends. We can debate that all day long, but I'll still tell you I don't want to curl the very, very ends. The reason being is because I tend, my hair anyway, turns into like prom hair, just a full head of curls. We don't want that. You want a wave, like a modern wave. The modern waves are straight at the end. Think of those bobs where people curl their hair. The very bottom isn't rolled under, it's straight. So that's what you want to do. Can you tell I feel strongly about that? All right. Another way you can use this is by going to the bottom and then, whoops, don't hit the wrong way. Whoops, whoops, wrong way. No, come back, come back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to do because everything's reversed in the camera here. Anyway, you can start at the bottom and it can roll it all the way up for you. 
So you can do that too. I don't know why I start the other way. Let's see how this looks, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you don't need it on very long because it is so hot. You could just pull it and there's your wave. See that? How easy is that, you guys? All right, I think that I will finish it up or should I do it? Let me do the whole side for you. Make sure when you're taking your pieces that you um, can't do it in a mirror apparently either. Uh, take sections depending on the thickness of your hair and take sections depending on how much curl you want. There are days when I just want a few pieces of curl. So I don't even curl every single piece. I just kind of go around and grab pieces that you see the most. Let's see if you guys need to come down here, you can see more hair. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going, do a few more. And like I said, last time I showed you guys this curling iron, I wondered why it would make a difference with it rotating. Why couldn't I just curl it myself? Well, you get a much tighter curl. And again, you could start from the bottom. That's an option. So it will do most of the work for you. So I'm, you know, I'm not a hairdresser, so I'm taking sloppy sections. If any of you are hairdressers, you're probably going, what is she doing? Well, I'm doing it my own way. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> now, I don't always use the rotating part. You don't have to. It's still a fantastic curling iron because it gives you so much heat. So you gotta be careful. Make sure you use a heat protectant with this. That's why I love that Olaplex. I'm gonna go over this piece one more time. I wasn't thrilled with how I did that one. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep going and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, you guys, I, before I go and do my other half of my head, I just wanted to go over this with you. I wish you guys were live. I should have done a live. That would be so cool. Cause you guys might have questions. Like I know it's hard when you're watching a video, like what way is she going? So you want to curl your hair back. So this part here is going to go back, not go under. We did the under in the nineties. We don't want to do the under. Remember the under? It was kind of like, I always tell my daughters, we did not have straight irons back then or flat irons. So I would use the really big barreled curling iron and curl my hair under, but I would kind of brush it with that hot iron just to get it condensed and straight because I have such thick hair. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, you guys can ask me questions in the description box below. Hopefully I'm giving you guys enough information. I always go over it too to see if there are any pieces I missed. I might wanna do this one over. And make sure you ask me questions cause I'm not sure what exactly you wanted to see cause I kind of showed you this a few times, but you might be new here. Look how shiny my hair looks, you guys. I'm telling you right now that has a lot to do with my shampoo and the fact that I stopped highlighting it so much. I was kind of like, wow, my hair's super dark, but this is my natural color. I do still have a few brown pieces at the ends. I don't mind that, but I was going way too light and I was getting um, breakage all up top. My hair is really recuperated. Another tip for you guys is never use any heat, like super, super hot hair dryers, those Revlon blow dryers on sopping wet hair. Make sure you let your hair either air dry or you do a rough blow dry on it before you use those really super hot items. And then even with this, I do it really quickly and let it go. Don't forget Savani, uh, I will link it below. And $69 using my 15% off code, Liz, you're gonna get it down to $59. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side and then I'll come back and we'll talk some more. All right, you guys, I curled my whole head. Let me turn around for you. You can see all the shiny, pretty curls. Now, I feel like that high heat definitely gives you a shine. Just be careful with it. Make sure you use something like a heat protectant of some kind, whether it's this gorgeous, lovely Olaplex one, uh, Olaplex number nine, I'll link it below and get it at Ulta. Uh, or, you know, you can buy sprays and stuff like that. All right, so next I come in with my sexy hair oil. I've had this forever since I did my last 
video of my hair. It's the suit, it's just oil. You can get hair oil. I'll link um, a more affordable one as well. I put a little bit in my hands, see my hands? Put my hands just like this. This also probably contributes to the shine. I do not go like this. Don't do that. You're gonna go underneath and just drag your fingers through those curls to make them a little more beachy. That's it, you guys. Now, keep in mind, everyone's hair is different. But here, let me back up so you can see it. That's it. Everything you saw me do is all I do. Okay, and then I'll hit it with some hairspray. Look at beachy waves. That's what we call them here. My daughter, you know, little Tally, she's into me doing her hair and she likes the beachy waves at 12. I'm in trouble. I know you don't have to tell me. <laughs> so here it is just still dragging that oil through my hair. And then I'll, I didn't even bring a hairspray out here, but I will then hit it with some hairspray. Just showing you all the different angles. Now, I still have to film a video after this for Walmart Wednesday, but I'm also going out to dinner tonight after I film. My filming should probably take me about an hour, but I'm gonna get dressed now and show you what I'm wearing to dinner and what scent I am wearing because today's video is sponsored by Dossier and I have a new scent and I'm gonna say it, I'm in love. So you guys know how I love the um, aquatic, aquatic something. I'll put it up on the screen. You know, I have zero memory these days, too much going on. But I love that for my husband because it is the designer inspired dupe for Aqua de Gio. So this is Aqua de Joya dupe and I love it as well. And it's funny because the regular designer scent, the actual Aqua de Joya, I've never smelled before in a department store and now I love it. Thank you, Dossier. All right, but I'm gonna show, talk more about it and what it smells like and stuff. You guys, do you love this? You know what I love is that, look at, we can get as tousled as we want. Is that great? I'm telling you, you guys, get this curling iron, you will not regret it. It is an exact dupe for the beach waver at only 59 something, I think 59.50, with my code list. So everything that I'm showing you, even my robe, will be linked below. I'll link my foundation, all of my hair products. Oh, by the way, this brush, it's like $5 at Walmart. It's a vent brush. You can blow dry through it. You can bring it in the shower and comb your conditioner through it. When you come out of the shower, I started using this after the breakage in my hair. It doesn't snag and pull my hair and break it off. Get this brush, I'm gonna link it below. Also, when I'm in the shower, you guys know I use this because I hate scrubbing my head with my own nails because my nails get weakened. I can't get through all of this thick hair, but this guy right here can, so I'm gonna make sure to link him and you can scrub your scalp. When I wash my hair, I don't go like this to the ends. I'm simply washing my scalp and I do so with this. And then conditioner goes only on the ends. Don't put it all over because then you're gonna have a big, loppy, greasy head of hair. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm wearing tonight. We're gonna talk about this new scent that I absolutely love. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. All right, guys, I'm back with my final look. Here is my hair. Let me show you from behind here, all the shine and curls that you can ask for, all from my lovely Savani iron. Now, it will fall throughout the day too. You can make it as flat or as big as you like, all depending on what products you use. You can grab one of those volumizing sprays um, and spray it underneath and make it bigger and bigger if that's what you wanna do. I kinda like it a little flat on top and then those soft waves cascading everywhere. <laughs> all right, you guys, so here's what I have to crack right up about. So first of all, two things. One is this is not the dress I wanted to wear tonight. so. I will probably look again before I leave, but I wanted to show you, so it's very similar to the one. Let me show you a picture of the one I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear this one. I don't know where it is. You guys, the clothing is out of control. Um, I really need to organize it better. So I'm looking over at that little garment rack I have. That's not cutting it right now. <laughs> anyway, but I do love this dress as well. I actually looked on my own LTK. If you're not following me on LTK, just it's a free app 
look it up and look up Life and Style by Liz and I have my own page. Everything I've ever shown you is usually over there all in one place, kind of like a high school yearbook. <laughs> anyway, the thing that's so funny is I put this dress on. Well, last time I put it on for you guys, this part here, I tied in a bow and let it hang. And I thought at the time, wow, why did they make that so long? And then it wasn't lying flat for me just now, so I really took a good look at it. You can tell by the way it's sewn, it's supposed to be around your neck, not in a bow, Liz. So I thought that was kind of funny. All right, I put on some jewelry, my scoop rings, my Walmart bracelet, and uh, what are these called? My square hoops. I grabbed this bag, hopefully I can link it for you. I really like it for getting dressed up because it's almost like another bracelet. I hold it like that and then this pretty gold chain just goes right over it. Let me back up and show you the dress. This is by Kate Casson, I believe. It's either Kate Casson or Grace Karen. It's from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it for you guys below. Yes, I'm wearing my studded two strap sandals. That also could change into tall boots instead because it's snowing out today and this just would not be fun. So here's the back of it. Yes, I have my shapewear on. This is a bodycon dress. So I love it. I love black long sleeve dresses. I like this front part because you can pull it and it's kind of just like hiding anything that's going on right there. So that is all, but let's get into the dossier scent, you guys. Listen, when you go out and get dressed up, especially with Valentine's Day coming up, Make sure you watch Wednesday. We're gonna talk a little bit more about Valentine's Day. You really should have a scent. I feel like it completes your look. So Aquatic Peony. This is by Dossier. By the way, if you're not familiar with Dossier, Dossier is a fragrance company that makes designer inspired scents. So if you're in Nordstrom's, Macy's, uh, any of those higher end stores and you find a perfume that you love, like I would if I found this prior to, Finding it on Dossier, hold on. Hmm. Uh, you can go over on Dossier, I'll leave the link in the description box below, and you can most likely find it there for way, way less. For example, I believe this bottle here is $29 compared to whatever all the real designer perfumes retail for. Bargain, you guys. And the latest news I've heard is that Dossier is coming out with their own signature scents. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, what does this one smell like? It's almost like, I'll read the card in a second, but I'll do my own description first. It's very clean. It's almost like a, a blue scent. Ocean, citrus, tiny bit of floral, but a white flower probably, or a white tea, that kind of thing. Very light, very airy. Kind of like how you feel in January. Do you ever notice how they always have the January white sales? Meaning get new bedding, get new linens, brighten up with some fresh light colored flowers and a very lightly scented perfume like this one, Aquatic Peony. And this is inspired by the Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gioia. The top notes are mint, interesting, black currant, lemon, aquatic accord, like I said, ocean. The middle notes are peony, jasmine, and pink pepper. I can pick up on that peppery smell. And the base notes are cedarwood and labdanum. Not sure what that is. Comment below if you know what that is. But it's fantastic. I have a discount code. Life and Style by Liz 10 will save you 10% on anything. The best part about Dossier is you can purchase one of these scents, have it at home, wear it for a while, decide you don't like it, and Dossier will refund you. So there is a no risk guarantee with Dossier fragrances, but I don't think you'll be returning any of them. They've all been fantastic. There has not been one that made me kind of like turn my nose up at all. And I've been a Dossier ambassador for well over a year. All right, you guys, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great two days and I will see you back here on Wednesday. Bye everyone.